Hello, this video is going to demonstrate how you can remotely control this pneumatic valve with the Lego infrared controller, the power functions. And this design will incorporate the Lego clutch gears. And this will is different from the other one I have designed and incorporated in a couple of my vehicles is the fact that will will not deadlock the motor because of the clutch gears. Okay, the first step here is to start off with the valve. And we want to make a piece here to start off as a base. And on this base here I have used a double piece with the black sticking up and I just put on two threes here but you may want to adjust it for whatever piece of Lego creation that you're doing and I just used a three with a perpendicular piece to just uh, change the angle and I'm going to actually take this and stick it from the hose side in because we need to have some room on this side okay from here I think we should take a look at the motor here on the motor we're going to use double gears here um, on each situation because during my first prototype one clutch gear wasn't cutting it it needed a little more strength because this actually takes a little bit to move it over and just one wasn't doing it okay so you just want to take a regular axle and put a spacer and put uh, two gears on it and then you want to leave enough one stud length here and you want to stick it in the motor so just take your motor set it aside now you want to take another axle and you want to put a little two stud length with a uh, perpendicular and you want to have this piece is going to go up underneath here okay now we're going to take the motor and with the piece we've got and then we're going to take um you want something that's going to be rigid through here um, but this could be built into your design for any of your creations that you're going to do. Okay. Now the first step here is you're going to want to take the motor um, and this piece, stick it all in line, and then take the motor and set it in like so. And then you just want to take just some pieces you want to I use a double blue here a triple blue just to step it out farther and just pop it in and then use this to step it back like so make sure this goes in as well perfect and then that just sits like that and then you want to take the other side and you want to pop the other side in as well same thing Now from here, we're going to want to make a, this piece. And this piece is going to be, it's pretty critical for one piece that you got. And that's going to be right here. This piece is critical because it offsets a half a stud. And to be able to get to the optimal point on this, to be able to create a center point to spin at, you need this piece to be able to go to half a stud length. And what I have done is just use number threes and use one piece to go at a 90. And just use a three and use this one right there. And just pop that on like so. Now from here, you just take this and set it on just like that. 
and this will actually move up a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> the next step right here is we're going to take these and <clears throat> we're going to take these and flip it over like so and this piece is going to go inside here. Okay, and this is going to drop down like that and seat right on those other gears. Now we need to take these pieces and secure them in. You may be able to do this on your creation some else, some way else, but this is how I'm going to do it right here. Don't worry about that. So this piece right here, I'm just going to take it and pop it on. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Okay. And then for the back, yeah, get that back on there to hold that. And we're going to take for the back here, just do the same thing. But I'm going to utilize the blues that I stuck right here that hold the motor in. And from here, <clears throat> just to help us sturdy up a little bit. I'm going to pop on a few of these little halves. Okay, then from here, I'm going to take a battery box, turn some power on, set it to blue. Channel 1, channel 1. And then from here, um, you can just use your remote control and you know it'll stick, keep going no matter what. And just keep, keep going back and forth like this. Thank you for watching. I hope this uh, adds a little more enjoyment to everybody's creations.